Our team coverage continues now with CBS 4's Marian Martinez live at Miami International Airport tonight. Marianne. Well, Erica, you're about to see a whole lot of orange here on this board. Orange equals canceled. We're talking flights coming and going to uh, New York, Philadelphia, Boston, all of them canceled. Canceled, canceled. The most dreaded word at airports in South Florida. I'm supposed to be going home to Philadelphia. Morgan Hosbach traveled here from Philadelphia to celebrate her birthday. Her flight to Philly was canceled until Wednesday morning. She's stranded at Miami International Airport with her family. Now they're hotel hunting. We're already booked. There's no rooms available for tonight. Perry Carpenter and his wife were also struggling to find a room, but he's one of the lucky ones. Although his original flight home to New Jersey was canceled, he was able to rebook, but it's anything but convenient. We booked a flight to Chicago. We have a two-hour layover, and then we'll fly from Chicago to Philly. We are going to fly into Philadelphia, rent a car, and drive home from there. This is just a small sampling of some of the flights from Fort Lauderdale that were scrapped. But one woman stuck in Broward says it could be worse. It's fabulous being stuck in Florida for four more days. And the latest numbers out of Broward tonight are 73 uh, delays, 70 cancellations. And according to travel websites like flightaware.com, they're reporting that the number could be in the hundreds uh, out of South Florida when you look at uh, all the destination cities like New York, Boston, and Philadelphia. And of course, no word on when those airlines will be able to get everybody home. At Miami International Airport, Marianne Martinez, CBS 4 News tonight. Marianne, thank you. Being